Hello everybody and welcome to Talking Threads. This is our special Christmas edition where we'd like to inspire you to get stitching and be very creative making Christmas uniquely yours. We have a stocking full of artists who'd all like to share their projects with you. Christmas is a great time to have fun with glitter and sparkle and I'm going to show you a project decorating a book. It's very, very simple, but it's a very, very useful project for anybody that's involved in college and courses, say even for young children, students, ladies on sitting girls courses, and they also make fab address books. It's a good way to make an original gift for Christmas, and I'll just show you how to do it. First of all, you need a basic sketchbook. These are black page ones, which are quite fun. And you need some painted bondaweb, and here's some I prepared earlier. When you paint bond web, you need to use a very thin layer of water-based paint and as you will see the backing paper has started to ripple and you get these really lovely rivulet effects. The, the bond web has to dry, so once it's dried you can start to use it. We'll just get the sketchbook again. You'll need your iron on off steam, on off steam, <laughs> <laughs> between wool and cotton, depending on the type of iron that you have. One of the most important things that you need in this project, or any project using Bondaweb, is baking parchment. It's a non-stick baking product. It stops your meringues from sticking. It also stops your Bondaweb from sticking to your iron, and it's absolutely crucial. You can cut shapes from Bondaweb if you want to, say hearts, flowers, stars, whatever you like. I tend to tear it because I'm a textile artist, I like to have organic shapes. So if you get a rough shape from your book, start to tear. I take the backing paper off the bonder web. You can see you've just got a thin, wispy layer of glue. Throw the backing paper away, then you start to lay out directly onto the book cover. Some of you would have done this on fabric before you don't realise that you can actually do it on hard surfaces too. You can iron bond web onto anything that's safely ironed. So wood, paper, book covers, fabric. It's a brilliant process. So you're basically working with sticky paint. It doesn't matter which way around you pop the bond web down because it's double sided. That's the danger. And because I've taken it off the backing paper, I can layer it up quite quickly. Just keep your little bits safe somewhere in a little messy pile, Kim. Then you take your baking parchment, lay it on the top. You don't want any little bits of bond web sticking out because it makes a mess of your iron and the baking parchment. And then you just iron for a reasonable length of time, a good minute or so with a hot iron because it takes a while for the heat to get through the baking parchment and melt the bond web onto the book cover. There we go. And then once that's cooled down, you will have this kind of effect. This is one I prepared earlier. So we now have a cooled down, peeled off bond web exposed, and this is where we can start to play. You can add all kinds of effects, glitter, sequins, skeleton leaves, and threads are particularly beautiful. Things like mohair yarns, all your knitting threads, or your sewing yarns, all kinds of things can be laid on. If you just work out the width that you need, chop it up and start to arrange your decoration. It's great fun. I mean, normally you would work in tones of one or two colours, otherwise it ends up looking like a dog's breakfast. But when you start to do this, just have fun, have a play, relax. It's a great way of using up all your old fibres and threads. You can use little pieces of fabric that you've pre-cut, things like polyester organza that you've rolled up into a little sausage and then just snipped up into little snips. You can get all these lovely little shadowy effects. So you can just lay it on, nothing too heavy. Just pop them on there. The great key to this is not to do everything all at once, just do it in layers. So do your first layer, then you take your baking parchment, your trusty baking parchment, 
and then you iron this. It's a longish process, it's not totally immediate, but it's worth doing in layers. Because if you put all your decoration on at once and you think, oh, it looks a bit messy, you can't take it off. So you can always add more. The very dull thing about Bondo is you have to wait for it to cool right down in between processes, but it's worth the wait. If you peel off the backing paper or the baking parchment while the Bondo is still hot, you'll peel everything off. So it's worth waiting for. Right, while that's cooling down, I'll just show you one or two of the books I have with me. This is the pink book that I showed you earlier and you can see that I've got various shaped sequins on here and you can see quite clearly the shadowy effects that you get from the little snips of polyester organza. There's also a little bit of foil on there which I'll show you in a minute. This book here is a slightly more subdued book for me but again it has the painted bonder web and it has some dimensional paint on it this time with a few sequins. And you can see where I've finished off on the varnish here, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. Right, we'll just pop that one down and hopefully this has cooled down enough to peel off by now. So we'll just have a little look. Well, that's looking okay. That's worked quite nice. There's a little bit that needed a little bit longer there, but we can always go back and put that down later. So that has all stuck on, it's not going anywhere. You can see that pink's a little bit lively but at the moment we're just playing. I'd like to show you some foils. These are heat transfer foils and they will stick to Bondaweb wherever you apply the heat. Let's use this nice shiny pearlized one. Again you need the baking parchment and instead of using the flat of the iron you use the side of the iron and you just press very lightly and run the iron across the bond web. You work with the iron away from you, not towards you, because certain parts of your anatomy will find it sooner than others. And then you just peel off and your foil has attached itself to the bond web. So you get a really lovely flash. And you can just keep building up with glitters, sequins and anything you fancy. Knowing when to stop is a great thing. It's something I have a great problem with. But hey, it's Christmas. We can play. Try using sequins. If you can get the lid off, it's always a good move. And then you just need to iron all that on and it's fixed. To decorate these books is very, very simple, but you need to finish them off. You need to seal them because it's quite fragile in this state, it will get scuffed up. So the thing I use is acrylic wax. It's a clear acrylic, it's waterproof and um, you can wipe it clean and it seals everything. Uh, you just need a couple of layers, you paint it on with a paintbrush and let it dry in between layers and you've got a, a really superb finish on your book. So basically, have some fun at Christmas, use all your glitters and sequins and have a good time. <laughs>